Hi there and welcome to Penguin Learning. In this National 5 and GCSE Maths lesson, today we are going to have a look at expanding brackets. In this lesson we are going to cover how to expand brackets with two terms using the FOIL rule. We will then have a look at how to expand brackets with any number of terms within them and then finally have a look at how to simplify these terms once we've expanded the brackets. And in the process of doing all this, we're going to go over examples as this always helps us understand and give us practice on the topic that we're working on. So, let's get started. Ooh la la. Okay, so during looking at the National Four curriculum, we've briefly touched on what expanding brackets means, and basically what it is, is just trying to get rid of the brackets within an expression. So for example, here we have an expression with two sets of brackets. In the first bracket we have 3x plus 4, and the second one we have 2x plus 5. And when we want to expand these brackets, what we want to do is essentially get rid of them. And to do that, what we want to do is multiply this bracket by this one, because everything contained in this bracket is considered to be grouped together, and the same with the second one. And because there's two brackets in this form, what that means is essentially this bracket multiplied by this bracket. And the easiest way to do this is by following FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside and last. And what that means is first of all what we want to do is multiply the two first terms within the brackets, and then outside means we want to multiply the two outside terms, so 3x and 5. Inside we want to multiply the two inside terms, so 4 and 2x. And finally the last represents the last two terms, so 4 and 5. So by following this method, if we have two terms in each of the brackets, that means essentially we are multiplying everything by everything in the other bracket, and that will give us the answer on how to expand. So let's do that just now. Beginning with the first, we have 3x multiplied by 2x. And multiplying 3x by 2x, well first of all we can multiply the numbers. So 3 times 2 is 6. And if we multiply x by x, that's going to be x squared. So the answer for multiplying the first terms together is 6x squared. And then for the outside terms, we have 3x multiplied by 5. And all we have to do there is multiply the numbers. So that's 3 times 5 is 15. And then obviously we have the x as well, so 15x. For the inside terms, we have 4 and 2x. And 4 times 2 is 8. So we're just left with 8x. And then finally for the last terms we just have 4 multiplied by 5 and that gives us 20. So now we've multiplied everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket and we have the answers for them. What we can then do is gather these together and simplify. So what our expression becomes is 6x squared plus 15x plus 8x plus 20 and then what we can see is we have two terms containing x so we have 15x and 8x and because that's the case that means both of them can be added together so we can have 6x squared and then 15 plus 8 gives us 23 so we're going to have 23x plus 20. So using the FOIL method which stands again for first, outside, inside, last We've expanded these brackets and that's gave us an answer of 6x squared plus 23x plus 20. So just to emphasise this once again, when we have a group of terms contained within the same brackets, we have to treat them as one and we have to manipulate them as if they're the one term altogether. And that's why when we want to expand the brackets, we have to multiply everything in one bracket by everything in the other because they're all treated, all the terms in the same bracket have to be treated together. Now let's have a look at this one now. What if we want to expand and simplify this expression here? So here we have within the brackets 4x minus 3 and the whole thing is squared. So that means everything within the bracket is squared because the squared sign is outside the brackets. And if we know if we have any term squared, so let's say we have x squared as an example, that just means we're multiplying x by x, or x multiplied by itself. So that is the exact same thing as what's going on here. Because the squared sign is outside the brackets, we're going to have 4x minus 3 in one bracket, 
and 4x minus 3 in the other. And because we have two sets of brackets containing 4x minus 3, that just means they're being multiplied together. Because we know if there's no sign in between two things, and it's the exact same if we have two brackets because they're right next to each other like this, that means we're saying this bracket multiplied by this bracket. And now what we have to do is expand these brackets, and we're going to use FOIL again. So beginning, we have the first terms. So we have 4x multiplied by 4x, multiplying 4 times 4 is 16, and multiplying x by x gives us x squared. Then the outside terms, we have 4x and minus 3. So we know that 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Then we also have the x. Now for the inside terms, we have 4x times minus 3. And we know that again, 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Then we have the x. And then finally, for the last terms, we have minus 3 times minus 3. And because we have a minus times a minus, that's going to become a positive, so therefore we have positive 9. And then what we can do is add the 12x and 12x's together, or combine them because they contain the same magnitude of x. So we have 16x squared minus 12x minus 12x is going to give us minus 24x, and then we have the plus 9 at the end. So that means our expression up the top can be expanded and simplified to 16x squared minus 24x, plus 9. Okay, now let's have a look at this example. All previous examples, we've only had two terms maximum within the set of brackets, but this time we have one bracket with two terms, so x and 2, and this one here we have three terms, so we have 3x squared, we have minus 4x, and we also have 1. This now means that we cannot use FOIL in order to expand these brackets because FOIL only worked if we have a bracket with two terms and another bracket with two terms, but the principles behind it remain exactly the same, meaning that what we want to do is multiply everything in this bracket by everything in this bracket. So we want to multiply everything in this bracket by x and then do the same thing with 2. So let's begin multiplying everything in the second bracket by the first term in the first bracket, which is x. So we're going to have 3x squared times x and x squared times x is just going to be x cubed, so we're going to have 3x cubed. Minus 4x times x is going to be minus 4x squared, and 1 times x is just going to give us x. And now we want to multiply everything in the second bracket by the second term within the first bracket. So we're going to have 2 times 3x squared. 2 times 3 is 6, so we're going to have 6x squared. 2 times minus 4x going to be minus 8x and then finally 2 times 1 is just going to give us 2. And now doing that what we have is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms because we did 6 multiplications during the expansion and now what we want to do is simplify. And notice the way that I've laid out each of these terms. Doing so like this makes it easier to simplify because what I've done is have the x cubes grouped together, the x squareds, the x's, and then just the constant, so all we have is 2 at the end. And doing it like this makes it easy to group together the terms with the same coefficient. So that means that we can say that our answer in terms of the x cubes is just 3x cubed. For the x squareds, we have minus 4x squared plus 6x squared, and then 6 minus 4 is going to be positive 2x squared. And then for the x's we have plus 1x minus 8x, so that's going to give us minus 7x. And then finally for the constant at the end we just have plus 2. So again just to recap, x multiplied 3x squared gave us 3x cubed. x times minus 4x gave us minus 4x squared. And x multiplied by 1 gave us this x. 2 times 3x squared gave us 6x squared. 2 times minus 4x gave us minus 8x, and then finally, 2 times 1 gave us this 2. All we have to do now is group the terms together, simplify, and that gave us a final answer of 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 2. Okay, to finish up this lesson, what we're going to do is discuss what we do or how we expand a bracket if we have some sort of number or variable outside the bracket. So in this case, we have a 2, 
and then inside the brackets we have x plus 3. And by having a 2 outside the bracket, what we're basically saying is it's 2 multiplied by the brackets itself. So that means 2 multiplied by everything inside the bracket. So if we want to expand it, we're going to have to do 2 multiplied by x and then 2 multiplied by 3. So 2 multiplied by x is 2x and then 2 multiplied by 3 is just 2 times 3 and that gives us an answer of 6. But what if we're asked to expand and simplify an expression like this? So here we have three sets of brackets and next to each one of these brackets we either have a variable such as x being multiplied by the whole bracket or a number such as minus 2 here multiplied by the entire bracket. So to expand an expression like this what we have to do is take each bracket bit by bit and then collect terms at the end. So I'm also going to lay this out the same way I did with the example where we had three variables within the bracket multiplied by the two and organise the constants together, the x's together and the x squareds together so that it's easy to collect terms and simplify at the end. So for the first bracket we have x multiplied by x which is x squared then we have x multiplied by 1 and that gives us x moving on to the second bracket we have minus 2 times x which is minus 2x and then minus 2 times 3 gives us minus 6 and then finally for the last bracket we have minus x times x which is minus x squared and then minus x times minus 2 that's a minus times a minus, so it's going to be positive, and that's going to give us 2x. So now we've expanded the brackets, it's now time to simplify. So for the x squared, we have positive x squared minus x squared, and that's just going to leave us with 0. And then for the x's, we have positive x minus 2x plus 2x, and we can see here again, the 2x and minus 2x cancel out, and that means that we're just left with x. And then finally for the constants, all we have was minus 6, so that's what we just put in there. And because the x squared was 0, all we're left at the end, once we're finished simplifying, is an expression of x minus 6. So just to go over it one more time, what we have to do is multiply everything in this first bracket by x, which gave us x squared plus x. Then for the second bracket, we have to multiply everything in that by minus 2, so that gave us minus 2x minus 6. And then for the third bracket, we have to multiply everything in that by minus x. That gave us minus x squared and plus 2x. We collected terms, simplified, and that gave us a final answer of x minus 6. Okay, so let's go over a quick recap we had on this lesson on expanding brackets. We said that if we want to expand two sets of brackets with each bracket containing two terms, we can use FOIL to do so, which stands for first, outside, inside and last and that means that we're multiplying everything in the second bracket by x and then doing the same for 2 and that means we're doing 4 multiplications in total for the first, outside, inside and last terms. But when we have one bracket with 3 terms such as this one here then we can't use FOIL but the same principles apply meaning that what we do is multiply everything in one bracket by the other. So we're going to have x multiplied by everything in this one and then 2 multiplied by everything in this one and that's going to give us 6 new terms once we've expanded the bracket. And finally we said that if we have a variable or a number, in this case we have a number which is 2, outside of the brackets, then what we do, we multiply everything in the bracket by whatever's outside here. So we multiply everything in this bracket by 2, which will be x times 2 and then 2 times 2. And that's how we expand the brackets when we have this set up here. So I hope this National 5 and GCSE maths lesson on expanding brackets has been helpful to you. And if that's been the case, make sure and give the video a thumbs up. It really supports the channel. And if you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to our channel or head over to our website at penguin-learning.com. And if you have any questions on this video, just drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.